Hi everyone, this is Srinivas. Welcome to Amirpay Technologies. In this video, I am going to explain about how to work with for loop with a simple program. Just printing 1 to 5 or printing 5 to 1. But how for loop exactly works? In the last video, I already explained right, how to write the loop related things. Suppose, if I want to display 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now I am using for loop. As we know that here, what is the starting point and what is the ending point? Clearly, I mentioned in the last video. In this one, so starting point is what? I starts with 1. Ending point is what? I less than or equals to 5. Very, very important. If it is increasing order, it is less than or equals to 5. And as it is increasing order, we are using I plus plus. Nice. Now I am writing everything inside the loop. Right, good. We are just writing for integer. If it is Java or .NET, you can directly specify int. If you are using C language, just you are just writing outside of int. No problem. Int i equals to 1. i less than or equals to 5. i plus plus. All the three, we are just writing one after another, separated with a semicolon. Simple one. 1 to 5 times it will repeat OK. But inside what you are printing always matters. Here, what you are printing is question mark. Question mark. Let me explain clearly. Okay. If you are using Java, system.out.println, .NET, console.writeline, C, printf. We know that. But in question mark place, what you are printing? So suppose if I am printing, print, I am printing hi. In double quotes, a message I am printing. Yes, good. How many times repeating? Five times repeating. So five times, you will get the value high, 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 high. Five times you will get. Okay. So suppose here, I am not printing that high. I am just printing star. In double quotes, I am printing star. Of course, a character, you can put it in single quotes also. Then five times, star will print. 5 times star will print. Sir, suppose if I am printing i, i means a variable, so directly print, don't put it in double quotes. If you put it in double quotes or single quotes, i will print. No, value. But what is i value first? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like this. Sir, suppose if I am printing, if I am printing, i is multiplied with i. Nice idea. So what is that i value? First 1. So 1 into 1, 1 will print. 2 into 2, that is 4 will print. 3 into 3, it's 9 will print. 4 into 4, 16. 5 into 5, 25 will print. That is. Sir, suppose can I print? Here it is a print i mod 2. You understood what I am printing. i mod 2. So what is that i value? 1. Just 1, you divide with a 2. Can you divide with a 2? No. No. So here it is that you will get the reminder 1. Suppose if it is 2, here it is 2. Yes, you, ca you can divide with a, only one time. So that reminder is a 0. Right? So here what will happen? 2 mod 2, reminder is 0. 3 mod 2, 1. 4 mod 2, 0. 5 mod 2, 1. So you will get binary values whenever you are dividing with a 2. Suppose, if I am writing this, print i mod 2 equal to 0. Now, so now what? i mod 2. Suppose 1 mod 2. 1, 1 equals to 0. No, it's false. False. Next, i value 2. 2 mod 2, 0. Yes, 0 equals to 0. Yes, true. 3 mod 2, false. 4 mod 2, is true. 5 mod 2, false. See, what I am trying to explain how many times you are repeating the loop? Five times. But inside what you are printing always matters. So what you are printing? High? Okay, five times high. Star? Five times a star. Is one, two, three, four, five. I? It's one, two, three, four, five. It's I into I? 149625. Like that, all values will display in the same way. So for example, I just want to repeat the loop that is five, four, three, two, one. Then you try this. Yes, I need to start with i. i equals to 5. And what is that end up with 1? 
but it is decreasing order so i greater than or equals to 1 as it is decreasing order i minus minus is decreasing everything so now we are writing inside same 5 times i 5 times star no sir i am printing here i so 5 4 3 2 1 because it's decreasing order so whenever i am printing i into i yes 25 16 9 4 1 in reverse it will print everything then 5 yes 5 mod 2 is 1 0 1 0 1 is a false true false true false okay so just how to work with the simple loop i'm just repeating the loop five times but inside what you are printing based on that you will get the output okay so please practice the simple for loop everyone will understand it's not a big thing okay thank you all